Alright, so Don, today we've had some really great news for oceans in Australia. What has the government actually announced today? It's a historic announcement. We've got 40% of Australia's oceans proposed for marine reserves, 10% of our oceans proposed for marine national parks, and by the way, in one announcement, that's the same percentage of our oceans as national park as we've achieved on our land over the last hundred years. Now, it's not before time because our beautiful oceans need protection. Sounds like a massive area of ocean. What are some of the main uh, environmental assets being protected in that area? I reckon some of the really exciting stuff that you know all of us, our members and supporters, will know about include the Coral Sea. So this is all of Australia's oceans offshore from the Great Barrier Reef. It includes some wonderfully pristine reef systems uh, like Osprey and Shark Reef that are some of the best dive sites in the world. What's really nice about the Coral Sea is oil and gas is being banned, so that'll help protect the Coral Sea but also the Great Barrier Reef from the risk of an oil spill blowing on shore. But most of the Coral Sea goes into a marine national park, which is great. Some of the other highlights include offshore from Perth, there's an underwater canyon that's bigger than the Grand Canyon, and it's also a feeding ground for blue whales. And some of the crucial pieces of that canyon are protected. Oil and gas has also been banned offshore from the Margaret River region. And then from the Kimberley coastline, the Australian Ocean's offshore from there, there's good protection from trawling and some fishing practices in that region, which is fabulous. There's still access to oil and gas, which we think is unfortunate. We would have liked to have seen oil and gas pushed back more offshore from the Kimberley, but it is progress. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a fantastic achievement. How long has the ACF been campaigning for this work? Well, our members and supporters in ACF, we originally campaigned very strongly for the Great Barrier Reef. We've been campaigning for the Coral Sea for about 30 years and for the last 20 years for a comprehensive marine national park system. So this has been hard work and wonderful commitment by staff and supporters and our board. And at last we're seeing the day uh, that's delivering the fruits of our labours. But this is great for our nation's future. Um, our oceans cover more area than the land. Uh, they're increasingly coming under pressure from overfishing, oil and gas exploration. So the timing's right to get this reserve system in place. I reckon it's beautiful.